When I first came across Deborah's book, it was it was given to me by my producers, um, and I read it. And the character of Piranha is just uh, something you don't see every day. You know, honestly, in children's literature, you certainly don't see it on the cinema screen that often. Um, a character that is going through something quite real, a character from a part of the world that experiences uh, experiences conflict, but she is uh, such uh, an amazing, courageous character in one sense, but she's also flawed you know uh, she's funny you know and so uh, the idea of putting a character like that on the screen was something that I couldn't uh, I couldn't pass up on I felt that I had to had to do it so that's um, that's why tackling a subject matter like this with compassion and love and you know and, and not taking anything for granted and, and realizing that the, the the medium of animation is such a collaborative medium it means that I could tell this story with as many voices as I could you know people who contributed to trying to make the screenplay as good as it possibly could that it was as reflective of as many people's experiences as, as we could but also at, at, at its heart it's just the story of um, a, a young girl who loves her father and and wants wants what's best for her family you know um so uh, you know this this is why we we made it in animation because um i think animation is a, a an absolutely incredible medium you know and to tackle that you know a subject matter that's a little bit you know more more difficult than than we're used to seeing on the on the cinema screen animation is a perfect medium because it helps us empathize with characters i think in, in a way that live action maybe has a, a more difficult time doing Um, you know, we, we looked at a lot of films like Waltz with Bashir, like Persopolis. Uh, we looked at, you know, different films, Grave of the Fireflies, um, even things like Iron Giant. You know, we looked at lots of, uh, lots of different uh, films when we began to make The Breadwinner. But at the end of the day, where, what the biggest influence on this film is Afghanistan, of course. You know, it's, it's, uh, and it's people's stories. You know, we were privileged to um, have had so many people contribute to this film, um, share with us their memories uh, of what it was like to grow up in Afghanistan during the time that we depict or, you know, at other times in, in, in Afghan history. So just trying to, to put that on the screen, uh, people's impressions, people's memories of what their neighbours were like, you know, etc., um, that's where the biggest inspiration came from, you know, and, and uh, as filmmakers, we listened as much as we could to, to that and then tried to translate it for the screen. Um, I never take for granted that I have freedoms that my mother didn't have. You know, when my mother in Ireland, you know, got married, she had to give up her, her job because you couldn't have a state job in Ireland at the time and be married at the same time, you know. So I don't take anything for granted, you know. I, I don't assume that the situation in Afghanistan is a simple one. It's not a good and bad kind of issue. It's very complex how Parana's family are treated as a symptom of something rather than an isolated thing. When uh, war and conflict are prolonged, uh, you know, th th this is what happens, you know, the most vulnerable in society often are the first to, to suffer. Women and children always suffer. The Afghanistan that we're, we're depicting, uh, a lot of the men, um, you know, they, they died in conflict. There were lots of widows in Afghanistan at the time. It, it's such a complex and huge issue. I, I love um, the fact that it's, it's being discussed. I love the fact that we can put characters like Parana, incredibly strong female protagonist, on the screen, uh, very human characters. Uh, for me, that's a, that's a amazing that we can do that, and I think it's, it's it forms part of a much broader discussion. But I think it's up to to every single person who watches this film or reads reads uh, the, the the book to to kind of make up their own minds and to to form their own opinions and to try and make the world a little bit better. Canadian producers um, who came to us specifically because we were an animation studio in Cartoon Saloon. Um, it, animation offers uh, so much to uh, you know a complex story. I think you can layer your story with animation in in ways that is it's more difficult to do in live action. The very fact that people's stories are being expressed through the hands of artists, whether it's brush strokes and the painting of the, the backgrounds and the, the locations, to the very subtle performances of the characters, the idea that you can draw a bunch of lines and they, it looks like a human being thinking, breathing, I mean that's absolute you know, magic. So um, the idea as well, I think that you can't necessarily see 
for Rwanda's ethnicity, you know. Um, Afghanistan is made up of many different uh, ethnic groups, but because it's an animated film, that's not up front and central, you know. It's, she's, she's a human being, first and foremost, and she is everybody's child, she's everybody's sister, she's everybody's daughter, you know. So, um, so that, that's what animation is particularly good at. I think it can stop you from looking away from the screen. If you take that leap, first and foremost, that, that leap of uh, imagination with the film and with the medium, it, it, uh, it can be incredibly rewarding. I do, I do, you know, besides being a, an animation director, I'm one of the heads of the studio in Cartoon Saloon, so one of the partners in the studio, so we have many different projects uh, on the go all the time. We're working on a film called Wolf Walkers right now, which is um, Tom Moore and Ross Stewart are directing this film, which is a third in the trilogy of Irish mythological films that our company is making. Um, I'm in development with another uh, feature film, which um, I hope to go into production with uh, fairly soon, but I can't say much about it besides it's something that I'm incredibly uh, enthusiastic about. Thank you. Thank you.